Okay, let's play around with some of these limits. So they've told us limit as x goes to 6 of f is 4, for g it's 9, for h it's 6. We, we know these. We're going to use these limit laws to evaluate these complicated limits. And we're going to write this out in all its gory detail. Okay, so this guy here, I'm allowed to distribute top and bottom as long as the bottom is not zero. So let me write it, and then we'll take a look and see if that was even valid. So I just wrote limit on top and bottom. Is this bottom zero? No, if that had said zero right there, I wasn't even allowed to do this step. I would be done. We wouldn't even know what to do at this point. You can only distribute top and bottom as long as the bottom is not zero. It's not, so now we can distribute here. So this will be limit as x approaches six of g. Hey, I happen to know that. Minus limit as x approaches 6 of 1 over limit as x approaches 6 of f. I know this guy. They told it to me. That's 9. This guy here, that's just a constant. The limit of a constant is that number. And then this guy was four. So I think we get eight over four. I think we just get two. Okay. And then here we can do one more of these. So let's distribute here first before we even start taking limits or no, we don't have to, we could do it either way. I could say this will be the limit as X approaches six of X plus one plus, or times, that's a times, limit as x goes to 6 of f of x. And I'm going to put some brackets here because I am going to have to distribute here. This is limit as x goes to 6 of x plus limit as x goes to 1 of goes to six of one, and that's all times the limit x goes to six of f. Limit of x as x goes to six is just six. That was the first rule. The second rule, the limit of a constant is just that number. This one they told me, I think he was four, check and make sure. So that's seven times four, I think we get 28. Let's stop there.